You're taking the morning reading of your refrigerator's temperature and see this on the monitoring device. Do you have cause for concern? Would you know what to do? Do you know which of these temperatures are within the correct range and which are not? The last two are within the correct temperature range, between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. So it is important to continue to monitor the refrigerator closely, but no action is needed. The temperature on the first 30 DTR is too high, and the second 30 DTR is too low. Both readings require action. This video will cover general rules for what to do in each situation. When the temperature is above 8 degrees Celsius, make a report to your supervisor and make sure that the refrigerator is working. If it is not, check whether the power supply is adequate. Next, see if the door of the refrigerator or freezing compartment is closing properly. If the door seal is broken, call a technician to make repairs. Also, check for frost. If there is a layer of ice more than half a centimeter thick, defrost your refrigerator. If none of these actions work, the thermostat may need to be adjusted to a cooler temperature. You may need to call the maintenance technician if the thermostat is not adjustable or if this action is not permitted by other staff. If you have a kerosene refrigerator, raise the flame. And if temperatures still do not drop to 8 degrees Celsius, store vaccines in other cold chain equipment that can maintain the correct temperature range until the refrigerator is repaired. You should find more directions for this step in your facility's contingency plan. Be sure to check VVMs for color changes to determine whether vaccines have been damaged. When power returns after an outage, monitor the temperature closely to make sure it returns to between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. You might be tempted to turn the thermostat cooler, but do not adjust it. This puts vaccines at risk of freezing, which is much more damaging than slight heat exposure. If the reading is below 2 degrees Celsius, Make a report to your supervisor and adjust the thermostat to a warmer temperature, if you have the permission to do so. If the thermostat is not adjustable or you do not have the permission, call the maintenance technician. With a kerosene refrigerator, lower the flame. Also, be sure to check whether the door of the freezer closes properly. If the door seal is broken, call a technician to make repairs. In some cases, the temperature may fall below zero degrees Celsius. Your electronic freeze indicator will show an X or the 30-day electronic temperature logger will show a low alarm if the temperature has dropped below negative 0.5 degrees Celsius for more than 60 minutes. When this happens, perform the shake test to check freeze-sensitive vaccines for damage. Discard any damaged or frozen vaccines. Remember, slight heat exposure is less damaging to most liquid vaccines and diluents than freezing temperatures. Now you know how to identify when refrigerator temperatures are out of range and what to do in each situation.